This week, I've just released a new workshop on drum editing. And to celebrate this, I just wanted to share with you one of my favorite clips from it. In this video, we're gonna be looking at Pro Tools Beat Detective and its Groove Template Extraction feature. Using this, you can take multi-track drums and extract the tempo information from it. The benefit of this is that you can then get more natural results by tailoring everything else around the natural drums rather than working around a predisposed grid. So finally, we've got another power user trick here, and we've got this tambourine loop that we've downloaded and we've imported it into the session. Obviously, it being a loop, it's probably conformed to the tempo and to the grid very tightly. But let's imagine a situation where we don't want to move the drums too much, it feels really good, and actually we want to move this tambourine in time with the drums. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Beat Detective again Okay, and we're going to select the drums as before. And we're going to capture it and analyze it. And rather than now separating, what we're actually going to do is extract the tempo and the transient information from this. Okay, and we're using Groove Template Extraction here. And we're going to save this to the Groove Clipboard. So now what we can do is either use Beat Detective to conform this or we can actually use Elastic Audio too. So uh, because it's a little bit more um, complex to do this, we're gonna turn on Elastic Audio and do it this way. Okay, so now we're on rhythmic mode, we can go in and go to the quantize, again, Alt zero. And now under quantize grid here, usually it won't be showing this, it'll be sh showing you a note value like now on eighth notes. And now if we go back, we can select it to groove clipboard. So now all of that tempo information and transient information, we're gonna um, transform onto this loop. So now if we hit apply, okay, you've seen it all move. So now if we go to warp mode, you'll see exactly where it's moved to. And let's play it. Okay, that's great. So one thing that this is also good for is when you've got some drum takes done and maybe you're layering stuff on top of it, like um, a bass guitar, for example. Um, and rather than having to tighten everything to the grid, sometimes you can tighten the bass to the drums or some of the parts, and that just makes things a lot easier and kind of retains some of that sense of reality and swing about the performance, but everything still feels tight together.